Hello, welcome to Rad Company. I'm James Amarato, and today it's Chavez's new EP. Uh, a surprise to me, didn't know this was coming, uh, Cockfighters. Chavez is a sometimes noisy, sometimes mathy, post-hardcore band from New York that released two records that I loved back in the 90s, Gone Glimmering and Ride the Fader. Their sound can go from these beautifully clear, shimmery, scapey sections to just bludgeoning you like that, and it can also go right back again. And they do it so well, thanks to some really tight playing from drummer James Lowe, as well as the tuning guitarists Matt Sweeney and Clay Tarver use. That dropped octave tuning has not only been used on some very influential records over the years, but has become something of a staple in a lot of the heavier genres today. Some bands even crediting Chavez for it. Everyone's got a variance on it, but uh, it gets around. Now with all that being said, a uh, new EP. First track, The Singer Lied. The signature sound is here with a swirling riff that has the bottom dropping out of it intermittently, and I'm super pleased with the drum sound, not only on this track, but the whole EP. If anything has changed much in sound from their older stuff or benefited from modern production techniques, I point to that. It's big, roomy, and it has a really nice crack on the snare. Um, it reminds me of older Deftones work. I also like the track Blink in the Blaze, which is like a chill cruise. The track explores almost desert rock territory. It does get to some heavier jamming at the end that parallels like a uh, super unknown era sound garden. Uh, that's a positive for me, but your mileage may vary. The last track, The Bully Boys, wasn't quite as strong of a track to me, never quite letting me latch on to it, but maybe that was the point on their part. I do like the middle chunk of it a lot, but on the whole, to me, it's just the weakest of the three tracks. That aside, this little EP takes me back to the joys I had going down the post-hardcore rabbit hole for the first time, and for that, I'm really appreciating it. Uh, seriously, check these out. They're all good. The band is still writing quality stuff, and the sound is still there. Um, I'm going with a 4 out of 5 on it. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments, or email me at contact at radcompany.com, or reach me on social media at radradco. See ya.